the big ring that we made in videos number one and two needs to go up and down by about an inch. So what we're doing here is routing a shelf into the extension we put on the support level, and then on that shelf we're going to glue a ramp. I'd originally thought, and also for the ramps that are in further into the table, about routing the ramp directly into the support level, but what happens there is that you have to mount the router on an angle, and the bit has to extend down quite far in order to reach, so this just seems simpler and more practical. We didn't catch it on video, but these ramps are made of maple, and we cut them with a track saw just by laying two pieces side by side and making a long cut. It gives you four angled pieces. Due to that shelf below, the ramp sits a quarter inch above the support level, but this is by design. We then extended it a bit with some plywood and a business card for an extra shim. Another aspect of this is that the surface of the ramp, the part that actually goes down to the ramp, does not match the curvature of the table. Only the outside of the ramp does because we just trimmed it, but the difference is negligible in this case and won't matter. After the ramps were in place, we needed to mark out where the wheels would go on the ring, so we propped it up just temporarily and marked it out. Drilling these turned out to be fairly easy because the ring is so large that it'll simply sit around the drill press. So we propped it up on there and drilled them. For the wheels, we went back to an old standby, which are skateboard bearings with 5 16 bolts down the center. The first bearing on there doesn't really do anything, it's just spacing it over. I didn't have any spacers handy. But uh, we get them on there, tighten them up, and they work great. It took a lot of work, but I think great is also the right word to describe our first couple test drives. I really like the motion. This mechanism has so little friction in it that while I am not used to saying this, it's almost an issue here. We don't want it to rotate unless you are causing it to do so, so we may end up adding a magnet or a small depression at the top next to the upper stop so that it won't drop down. These bearings are mounted vertically on the support level, and they just keep the ring centered in the horizontal or the XY axis. The foil tape is just to bump out the diameter a little bit. After we add the lower level back in, you can see that things are pretty close, but as I mentioned before, we planned out the heights carefully, and there are no collisions. With the lower level more or less squared away, it's time to drop the upper level in and trim those to fit. We're using a scrap from the support level again here, just to have a nice radius. We're also cutting off the mounting points for our slides, so those will have to be realigned later. We'll employ a quick montage here to get the other four trimmed up. I also find these very satisfying because I get to watch myself work, and when I'm watching myself work, you see someone who does things exactly the way that you want them to be done. There'll be something that's bothering you, maybe a piece is in the way, you know, and just at the moment that it's beginning to bother me watching it, I'll address it in the video because it's myself, and I just find that very satisfying. <laughs> Now we can repeat our overhead shot with both levels installed and see that the tolerances we had on the lower level are also in place for the upper level and everything looks good. Now it's time to move on and do a little test drive on the vertical spacing with the ring and the panels. The ring could stand to be just a tiny bit taller, which I saw coming a little bit because they're metric sheets, so it's actually a slightly less than half an inch of true thickness. But in any case, we're giving it a test drive here with just two panels, and the alignment looks pretty good. The spacers on the main slides need to be replaced. You can see here an original one uh, up above, and then what's left of it after we trim it to fit down below. But there is room available in front of it that we can extend it out in this case, so we're going to do that. And we're going to use plywood because they were originally made out of 2x4s and an old scrap countertop that came with the house. So they were not quite as stable as we would have liked. These new ones are going to be made out of 2 inches of Baltic birch. Short week this week between Thanksgiving and a project next door. 
which was itself a door. But the ring is looking good. We've got it installed. I love the way it operates. There's something about the maintaining the height and then dropping all of a sudden. I really like that motion. As far as finishing up the installation, it's really involved with the top panels now because we lost our location marks that were on these slides. So we have to reestablish that. These are going to be replaced with the things that were gluing up over there. And once we get those on, the panels are looking good. So next week we're going to look into our star upgrade that I've thought about. Still have some kinks to work out there, but that's the next thing that we're excited about. And the ring is looking pretty good. It's pretty much installed. A few fine tuning things, but that's it. So thank you for watching and we'll see you next week.